so today I have a video for you and it is going to be a chatty get ready with me. I'm going to answer a few questions that you guys asked me, questions that you may have that I answered for you about my pregnancy because today I am 25 weeks. Okay, so, so this is my fresh face. Um, I did already put moisturizer on um, and like toner. Today I am feeling very pregnant to say the least. I am 25 weeks today, so yeah. Let's see, how many months is that? I am six and a half, well, almost, <gasps> almost seven months, wait. Yeah. Yep, it's gonna come. Um, let's start out with priming my face. This is what I'm going to use to prime. I don't really know. This is just a primer I have. I haven't bought a new one, but it's definitely on my list. Now, 25 weeks pregnant. How am I feeling? Well, I'll tell you how I'm feeling. Today, specifically, I am feeling nauseous. I do still get morning sickness. Um, I don't get it as often. Not nearly as often, but I do get it like uh, maybe like a couple times a week. And that's why I have the sparkling waters because they really, really, really help with morning sickness. That's all that's been helping. And I'm gonna go with my concealer. I've been wearing this one lately, which is the Age Renewal one by Maybelline. This one is the one I've been using. I think it's in like the neutral color. And I just go there, here, and there. Besides the morning sickness, I've been, pretty good like overall this pregnancy the not so bad maybe it's because I'm having a boy I don't know but I definitely don't like I don't know I remember seeing my mom have really bad pregnancies with my three little siblings and I thought like oh maybe I'll get that gene where I'm gonna have really rough pregnancies also but so far so good my baby such a good baby. Say within the past couple days, he's been very active, not just at night. Normally he would only be active at night, but he is very active now throughout the day. And I did get my app thing. I use the Ovia, not, I think it's the Ovia pregnancy app. And it like tells you daily developments and stuff. And for 25 weeks, it says that like the baby actually goes to sleep with movement versus if you're sitting still not really moving they'll be more active because they need to be moved around to go to sleep I do lose my breath a lot I get shortness of breath um, they definitely like that he's active it, I still don't think I'm ever gonna get fully used to it because it just feels so weird well not weird I mean it's amazing but it but it does feel weird it doesn't feel normal obviously yeah the multi-use uh, sculpting concealer by Too Faced. I do like to use two different concealers just because obviously they're for like different things pretty much. I'm gonna say that this pregnancy like I am just all for the most part usually always tired and sleepy. Like I know doctors say you can have one cup of coffee a day but personally I've done my research I'm also an early childhood education major, so I've read my books and I've done my research and yeah, so I don't drink caffeine. And so far, it's been kind of a struggle, but I just pushed through. For this pregnancy with my skin, honestly, it's been pretty good, except for I do, I think I have pregnancy eczema. I'm mostly good at around this area right now thank goodness it ain't dry so yeah but then it also started developing like on my eyelids i have it like around here it's definitely red definitely patchy dry but what's been helping is the lineage uh lip mask i know it's for your lips but it's the only thing that has helped with my pregnancy eczema um, and then if you guys want me to do a video of like everything that I use for my pregnancy, like which vitamins I take, which supplements, uh, what 
what do I use on my body, skincare, stuff like that, let me know and I will gladly make a video. Yeah, um, another question that I've been getting is, am I prepared for the baby? Like, do I have everything I need for the baby? And the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> Buy stuff that I might possibly get at my baby shower also, so that's why I haven't bought anything. The one thing I will buy before the baby, or before I have a baby shower, if I get to have one, um, is the crib. But again, I haven't bought anything because I don't know what the status is. I don't know if I'm gonna have a baby shower. If I'm not gonna have a baby shower, the idea with my boyfriend's mom, because I was wondering, like, well, how do I know what to put on the list? How do I know, like, like, shouldn't I be prepared? Shouldn't I have these things? She said, just, you know, everything you have on your list, just save the money for it. And if you don't get it at your baby shower, then you have the money already saved so you can get it. Hey, you might as well save the money now and then have it prepared for whatever you do need to buy. You know, nice. I'm going with my foundation. This is my Holy Grail um, in the shade 225. Why am I plant-based? Was I plant-based before the pregnancy? Why don't I eat meat? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, reason why I'm plant-based. Yes, I was plant-based before I got pregnant. So, I've been plant-based for, I would say, going on two years, I believe, possibly more. Although, I did consider eating meat when I first found out I was pregnant because I was like, oh, what if I'm not getting all the right vitamins and nutrients and blah, 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 blah. But again, I did my research and honestly, if you just eat what you're supposed to eat, you should get enough vitamins. Like you just need to make sure to eat your greens, have your protein, which is in your veggies already. Um, just make sure to have enough of it. So I'm not worried, I'm not concerned, baby's so healthy, and that's all that matters. Um, another thing that convinced me to stay plant-based, I watched What the Health on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, even if you don't, even if you're not plant-based, even if you don't want to be plant-based, just watch it because it's informative and it, I mean, it doesn't hurt to learn about what is going in your body and what they put in what's going in your body. So just, it's just nice to be informed. I have had a lot of people disagree with me on that. Um, thankfully, my boyfriend, his family is very supportive of me not eating any meat and staying plant-based and they're totally okay with it. Okay, so let me go ahead and set my face. For that, I'm gonna use this um, ELF HD powder. I've been getting questions on, am I gonna breastfeed or formula feed? And the answer is, as long as I can breastfeed, I will. If I have any complications or whatever, then I won't. But, and I'm not against formula fed. I'm pretty sure all my little siblings are formula fed. If I remember correctly, when I would babysit them, I would like make the bottles and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely not against it. I know there's definitely lots of benefits to formula feeding as well, like DHA and all that stuff. But yeah, so I'm not against it at all. But as long as I can breastfeed, then I will because A, it'll save me money and B, it's good for the baby. And then also I've been getting questions on like, um, what my birthing plan is and daily I would love to do a water birth that is like my dream goal but everything's gonna work out the way it's supposed to so I'm using the hula oh little bronzer thingy ah. yeah this is in the color prima donna it's really pretty and this company is uh, vegan and gluten-free, cruelty-free, no matter what. I got a set in my Ipsy box, and honestly, because I really needed a new blush, and I'm so glad I got it because I love it. It's a really pretty color. I'm just gonna go with my Holy Gravel palette, the Tartlet. 
gonna go in with this more color which is this one right here but yeah 25 weeks pregnant man I cannot wait to see how big I get because I've been pretty stagnant I feel like my belly hasn't kept growing too much but it'll probably be like a I don't know I feel like it's gonna be like a slow steady growth or it's gonna be like a boom you wake up one morning and you have a big old belly I guess we'll see which is this one just put it on the crease okay so now I'm gonna go in with warmth because I feel like that's more red tone this one right here and put it all over the eyelid or in the middle at least question also has the baby name been picked out yes that was situated way before we even got pregnant we've always known what names we want to name our children so that wasn't really too hard crackle which is this one it's got like gold specks put it right at the edge here okay i know it's disgusting but this is the ColourPop Yes Please palette and I am gonna go in with this super yellow color just like that going for like a sunsetty look I guess I don't know I go in with the highlighter which I'm using this deadline by heart I'm just gonna Now for the hard part, eyeliner. I like to use liquid liner and not the markers. I like to use this kind. Very thin. So now I shall do that. Okay, so I just did my eyeliner. Are they twins? I don't know, but it's there. So, oh, ooh, question. Have I gained any weight? Or how much weight have I gained? Yes, I have. And like I said, it was really fast at first, but now it's slowed down. So right now I think I have gained about eight pounds already. For my pre, no, maybe 10 pounds. Oh. Because my pre-pregnancy weight was 98. So yeah, I'm using my Better Than Sex mascara, which by the way, this used to be my holy grail for the longest time. And now, like, I am so upset with it. I'm disappointed. This is my completed look. Now I've just gotta do my bangs and I'll show you guys my look for the day. Okay, so. I just did my bangs. They are pretty long, um, so there's that. Anyways, I'm gonna wear these. I just got them from um, Target and I have been looking, oh my gosh, these bangs are just out of control. Look at that. Ah! Love it. I'm wearing these overalls. I also got these from Target. They almost don't fit. It's pretty funny because when I bought them, I bought them too big so that they would fit during my pregnancy. And now they're getting to the point where they don't fit. And this is my first time wearing them, like since I bought them. My completed look. I love it. I feel like a pregnant woman. The bump. Going. Look at these earrings. $7.99. I'll link them down be below because they come in silver too. Yeah, if you guys want to see any other videos, please leave your suggestions down below. And um, if you have any questions for me or anything, you can always follow me on social media and DM me or whatever. So until then, I'll see you soon. Bye.